Hey, how's it going everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video I'm going to teach you guys about for loops in Java, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You can become a hero and save our channel by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro. Hey, what's going on people? Let's talk about for loops. A for loop executes a block of code a limited amount of times. Compared to a while loop, a while loop could continue infinitely depending if its condition remains true. With a for loop, this will execute a limited amount of times. So before we even begin the for loop, we already know how many times that this for loop is going to iterate. So let's create a program for an example that will count from 0 to 10. We can do this with a for loop. So this is how to create a for loop. Type in the word for a set of parentheses, and then a set of curly braces. So with our parentheses, we add a condition along with two other statements. So there's three parts to this for loop. The first part is that we can declare a sort of counter or index. So we will declare int index, and we can set this equal to zero, and then add a semicolon. So what a lot of people do is that they shorten index to i. It's more shorthand. With our second statement, this is our condition. We would like to continue this for loop as long as i is less than or equal to 10, because we stated that for this program, we would like to count from 0 to 10. Now, this third portion, we will increment our counter i by 1 after each iteration. So our for loop, at least within the parentheses, has three separate statements. We declare a counter or index, we call it i, but it's not necessary, that's just a common practice. This is our condition, we will iterate this for loop as long as this condition is true, and then we can increment or decrement our index. Let's take a look at this. How many times is this for loop going to iterate? Well, it's going to iterate a total of 11 times because we're counting zero as well. So let's test this. With a print line statement, we will display our index of i. So this will count from 0 to 10 and then stop. So let's do the reverse now. Let's start at 10 and count down to 0 and then display a message such as Happy New Year. So with our index, let's set this to 10 and change our condition to continue as long as i is greater than or equal to 0. And then with our index, we will decrement this by 1. And then when we exit the for loop, let's display happy new year so we will start at 10 count down to zero and display happy new year now with this statement we could increment this or decrement this by more than one if we wanted to count down by two we would write this as i minus equals two so now this will execute a total of let's see one two three four five six times Another way of writing this for loop that is optional is that you can move this third statement to within the for loop, and this will work much the same as it did before. It's just an optional way of writing this. So that's what a for loop is. It's similar to a while loop, except that it will execute a limited amount of times compared to a while loop that could execute an infinite amount of times. With for loops, within the parentheses, there are a total of three statements an index that you can declare, a condition, and then you can increment or decrement the index by a certain amount. So that is for loops. If you would like a copy of this code, I will post this in the comments down below. Please be sure to do me a favor and smash that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.